饭吃。My name is Yvette Nicole Brown. How are you all doing? Let's all go to a galaxy far, far away. Hello there, Star Wars Celebration! We are back. Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen, everybody! No, get on And let's hear it for the Pacific Corral! We'd like you all, everybody in this room, He's like, whatever it is, yes! <laughs> We'd like everybody who's here right now, everybody, to come back here tonight and to watch, to watch episode one and episode two with us on this screen before anybody else has seen it in the world. Thank you so much. We will see you all back here tonight for the premiere of Obi-Wan. Thank you. To join us to share more about Andor, please welcome to the stage Cassie and Andor himself, Diego Luna. Yes. Executive producer, Sonia Bolenberg. And returning as Mon Mothma, Genevieve O'Reilly. Hey! <laughs> buenas noches, buenas tardes, buenos días, donde sea que ven esto. Uh, so nice to be here, first of all, sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, I'm so excited. I know, it's really exciting. I need to get this exciting. tension okay. out. Yes, get it out. Um, it's lovely to be here, and uh, I, I guess your question was I about... Said, how does it feel to revisit this character? It feels amazing. I mean, today everything feels amazing. <laughs> Come on, look at this energy. Uh, no, it's, it's great. When I was doing the film, I was living every day as if it was the last. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this was happening. I didn't even know this was possible. Yeah. 
And, uh, and here I am, I know. still talking about Cassian Andor, which I love. I love what he represents. I don't know if... I know there's more panels. Mm -hmm. Would you have time to watch a teaser trailer? With... Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's all hear it for the cast and filmmakers of Andor! In addition to Star Wars, George Lucas created other incredible worlds and characters. And we couldn't be more thrilled to present the exciting new series, Willow. So to take you there, there's no one better than the director of the original feature, Ron Howard, and showrunner John Kasdan. Well, I, I have to say that I've, I've had a lot of great experiences in my career, but making Solo and... <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> and, you know, and, sh and shooting on the Millennium Falcon was way up there in the, in the line of experiences. Warwick doesn't make decisions lightly. In fact, Ron and I, like, begged him to come here for celebration. We thought you guys might want to see him. And I'm here. Unfortunately, we just could not convince it. We couldn't convince him to. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Lord, hello. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Made it. Wow, the force is strong in here today. <laughs> or should I say, there's a lot of magic in the room. Yeah. Please give a huge celebration welcome to Joanne Wally. Joanne Wally. Hey! Hi, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Celebration, Joanne. Hi. This is amazing. I, who knew that one day <laughs> we would be back here? I love it. Here together, work. Who knew? Absolutely. And we are just delighted to have those three young women with us today. Please welcome to the stage Ellie Bamber, Ruby Cruz, and Erin Kellyman. Come on over, ladies. Step up and let them see you. Come on up. Come on up and let them see you. John, did you bring any photos to show us uh, from the set of the new series? You know, uh, was I supposed to bring pictures? John. John, this is disappointing. I completely man. forgot to bring anything. I thought that these people would be enough. You know what? It's a good job. <laughs> on my phone, I do have... We're not allowed... I'm... I've got the teaser on the phone. What? <laughs> they just gave you the teaser? Yeah. Can you uh, mirror my phone? Like a mirroring? All right. Want to see this? Oh, oh. Where's the teaser? Oh. Hold on, oh. loading. Yeah. Hang on. Oh no, it's buffering. So I'll give you one quick guess. Who am I about to introduce? So since the last Star Wars celebration, this team has given us two seasons of The Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett. And there's, there's no two people I love working with more. Right now, they are in production on Ahsoka with another season of Mandalorian on the way, John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Can we bring out Bo-Katan Kreese, Katie Sackhoff. Hi. You guys didn't think you were going to get rid of me that easily, did you? <laughs> we thought it might be fun to show the people here at Star Wars Celebration a sneak peek of what we're working on. We took as many props and sets and costumes and vehicles and miniatures and loaded them up on trucks and brought them all down to Anaheim. And I'm here to announce a surprise installation that we did. I'm here to announce something called the Mandalorian Experience. Mandalorian. I got to go through the archives and be up close to all of the screen used props from the movies that I've loved. And so we wanted to make this experience available for you. So this is a big thank you from all of us to all of you. So let's bring out 
John Watson, Chris Ford. Come on out. Come on out. Sir, welcome. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hello. We really uh, like the opportunity of using um, kids to give you a slightly different perspective mm -hmm. on the Star Wars universe to see the galaxy through a different pair of eyes. Okay, it's going to be called Star Wars Skeleton Crew. Woo! Oh, and it um, stars Jude Law. Oh, he buried the lead. <laughs> what? He buried the lead, Where guys. That's pretty cool, it right? It stars who again? Jude Law. You heard it here first, Star Wars fans. Skeleton Crew, a brand new Star Wars show from John Watts and Christopher Ford, starring Jude Law. In February of this year, a Lucasfilm legend turned 90 years old. That's right. We cannot have the biggest Star Wars fans in the world gathered together under one roof and not celebrate the 90th birthday of John Williams! And conducting this performance is none other than the maestro, John Williams. I know that this is a Star Wars celebration. And here's a little piece that is not Star Wars, but you might know it. It's a great pleasure to be here again. And it's a special honor for me to be able to congratulate John in his 90th birthday. We have almost completed the next Indiana Jones film. And I had a wonderful experience working with James Mangold, with Kathy and Frank again. And I am really proud of the movie that we made. You guys, enjoy Star Wars Celebration! Um, it's been pretty amazing. You know, I've never been to Celebration, so this is the first time I've been here. Um, so it's been pretty incredible to come out and just feel the energy of the whole fan, fan base. You know, it was a little difficult. We couldn't see that clearly, so you kind of just saw shapes and lightsabers. So, But I am looking forward to seeing more once we kind of get a moment. There's nothing like this, you know, the the energy, the, you know, the, the expectation, it's amazing, you know. You work so hard to get something done and this feeling of like having people that actually want to watch it, it's it's paradise, you know, it's beautiful. And, uh, and I have to say that uh, as a fan, I connect a lot with these events, you know. There is a lot happening here and uh, so I enjoy that part too, you know, that I get to hear what's going to happen, meet people that are uh, excited like I am uh, about being part of this universe. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely time. It's hard to go back home, <laughs> you know, yeah, back to, to normal. Well, it's, it's a beautiful chance. We're going to get to know the character, the journey, you know. I, I, I believe uh, Rogue One is a lot about what happened, you know, an event. And uh, now we have the chance to tell you the story of that character you met there, where he comes from, why, why he got where he got, you know, and uh, that is beautiful. And, and, and in this long format, I have a chance to explore and to, to bring on many layers of, of a character that in a, in a movie, there, there won't be time, you know, to do it. 
We showed a we showed a, a, a teaser trailer uh, for all the fans, and uh, now it's out there, so everyone can watch it. And and, and it's just a tiny teaser, you know. Uh, it's just the first thing we, we show about the tone. You can you can tell what the tone of the show is, what characters you'll you'll get to meet, and uh, and the energy that the show has, you know. But there's a lot more coming. It's been amazing. It's been so great, um, and just to see all the fans and. Um, the vibe here is really, really great. It was crazy to see the trailer for the first time and just to see what we'd been shooting for such a long while in Wales. So, um, and all of us to be together, to see that together, I think was really exciting because we created such amazing like friendships from being on set together. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the thing is that because it's like, you know, a fair few number of episodes, you can really see the characters grow and like, my journey in within the show is just so exciting and it's such a full journey and to be able to really experience that and to grow with the character is is brilliant it's so incredible i feel like star Wars celebration is always just the most friendly and energetic and fun place and there's like never a moment where you feel like on your own or unwelcome like everybody like the fans and the people here are just everybody's just so cool yeah it was so exciting. I was so nervous like before going on stage, but as soon as you walk out and you see everybody and hear everybody's excitement, you can't help but just be like, okay, this is fine. I can just calm down. It's great. I think people are going to really, really like it. There's a lot of twists and turns, a lot of action. There's like a lot of a lot of the characters go on their own separate journeys, which is like finding themselves and stuff and accepting themselves. Um, yeah, it's very cool. I think people are going to be excited about it. Insane, insane. I think there's the the show really is, it incorporates the original movie um, with also bringing this modern vibe to it, you know? Um, and I think they did that really well, yeah. I was insane. It was just lovely to be, to feel that um, welcome that we got out there. I'm still kind of buzzing from it. It was great. Well, that was great. I knew that that was, that was nice to have in my, up my sleeve, you know, that I was allowed to, to be the one to announce that because I knew that people would be stoked about it. So it was great. What a great reaction to the, to the surprise. It's been something really special. I think this will be something I remember forever. I've never done this before and um, you know, walking out this morning onto stage and those ex the extraordinary generosity of those fans was really special. Well, we had we showed a, a teaser, like a teaser trailer, um, and I think they liked it. I think I think they liked it. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. The music was extraordinary. It felt so sensory, right? Um, it, it was really exciting and I, I hope the fans were as excited uh, about it. Yeah, it's such a gift to be able to come back to this um, and to be able to come back to this character within a long form narrative where we get to explore her and I just, I love that Disney and Kathleen and Tony and Sana have given that time and story to this woman you know because she's been around for quite a while and i'm thrilled that now we get to investigate her a bit and yeah get to know about her yeah it's amazing i mean you know the star wars celebration is a real celebration of star wars um and it's 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 just thrilling to get to feel that energy. I feel like it's all a little bit more heightened just because you know we haven't been able to do it for a few years and just being able to all gather in this way uh, I think means a lot to people. Um, but yeah, it's just great to be here and be a part of it. That's been one of my favorite parts of all of this is, is getting to reunite with Ewan and, and play these characters again, you know. Uh, He's such a lovely man and, and um, someone that I, I, I care a lot about and um, just really nice to get to reconnect with him and, and do this. Absolutely, yeah, no, I love, I love it. We were just having lunch out on the balcony here and you see like Boba Fett, you know, walking down the sidewalk and um, to me that's, that's, you know, part of what makes Star Wars so great is the ability for people to to you know, really love these characters and, and create their own costumes, and um, it's just a lot of fun to be a part of that. I have to say, it's been amazing. I didn't actually realize that this went on. I mean, the 
the, the number of fans, the amount of joy and love they have and the, the level of involvement and engagement and and that's and and they have real power and it's there's a real relationship and it's been it's been kind of incredible so I've actually very much enjoyed it the scripts are really good the, it's it's got the same kind of sassy tone it's got a big epic storyline. There's some great young actors who um, kind of pick up their baton and run with it. And uh, and Warwick and I are back in our old boots. We're back, you know. Uh, and uh, it's been lovely. Really, this is all about something that happened between Ron Howard and I, where we just both sort of knew that this was something we wanted to do. I came at it as a fan, he came at it as the creator of the original movie, and when we met and this sort of, we recognized this in each other, that was the moment the train started rolling, and by some miracle, nothing derailed us. From that day in 2017, to this day today when we're sharing the teaser with people. I think with George, always bigger, more. These stories are epics, and one movie was never gonna satisfy him. And I think by the time 1989 rolled around, three movies wouldn't have been enough to satisfy him. And he saw very clearly that television was where people would go for these kind of stories, you know? And no one at the time, I think, realized that fantasy and science fiction would have this kind of life in TV. I'm very curious about what people have dissected from the various shots that are in the teaser, who they think, what character might be. Uh, I think there's a lot of fun to be had there and, and, and I'll be interested to see how you know, how the speculation in form, it really connects to the show we've made. It felt so amazing because, you know, you walk into this crowd and you know that everybody just loves Star Wars and they've been away from the excitement of this for so long that, I mean, we were feeling the same thing they were, so it, it was great. Oh, they went pretty insane. They're going to see two episodes of Obi-Wan. We're excited because none of us have seen it on a big screen like that. So I think, I think it'll play great. It was insane. Oh my gosh. Even afterwards, my knees were like, then when I heard the choir, and then the people's reaction to the choir, and then you and saying, hello there, and everybody being like, yeah. I was such a relief that it didn't have to be a secret anymore. <laughs> so glad that people are finally going to get to see it and um, have it be out in the world. There's been so much anticipation, and I'm excited for people to have it. Oh my God, it's such an incredible experience. I. I feel like every nerve and every anxiety I had melted away once I like just witnessed how excited everybody was for for to, to even just be here like this is something that people love and people devote themselves to do they, the amount of effort and and artistry that goes into them dressing up and and coming all the way to Anaheim and like I mean it's so special to be able to witness that and also now be a part of it yeah I'm thrilled the teaser that was so fun that was I mean it was just an incredible feeling to be able to, you know, put so much work into something and then be there with the people who are going to enjoy it as they first get to witness it. I think that's such a special thing that you so, so rarely get in this industry. I haven't, I've never been with an audience while they experience something for the first time that I've made. So that was really, really special to be able to hear them cheering and enjoying themselves. And um, yeah, I can't wait for people to, to see the actual show. Such an incredible thing. I mean, I think in the, t in the teaser you see my character say, we need your magic, and it, it's, it's, Willow is such a special, heartwarming, beautiful, wonderful character to be able to come back to screen, and now he's, he's so necessary in our, in our world and in our adventure. He's the only one that can really help us, so it was really fun as Kit to get to meet him someone who like had s my parents had so many stories of him growing up so yeah that was a really special moment and also to get to work with the legend Warwick Davis was incredible yeah I mean the coming together that's what it is you see people old and young from all walks of life united by their love of this phenomenal universe and it is so moving actually I got I got kind of choked up by it because it's it's like pure love in the room uh, the, the the cynicism that we put up with on a daily basis from the news and pundits and you know challenges in life is completely evaporated and you just have a room full of people saying we love this 
and it made I know all of us feel like well we love you that's what it felt like yeah I mean this is the first time we've seen the Grand Inquisitor in the live-action uh, universe so to me that is an enormous honor and one that I took very seriously um, but we also get to see familiar faces return and beloved characters played by beloved actors like Ewan and Hayden um, so I think this is kind of like got the best of both worlds People have been talking about that it is this extraordinary experience, but you know nothing quite prepares you for the energy you feel from this crowd when you come on the stage. It is electric. It really is. Oh my God! Isn't that exciting? You know, I mean, it, you know, it is such an opportunity when you have episodic storytelling to really dive deeper into these extraordinary characters that people find a huge connection with. You know, in the events of Rogue One, and yet there's so much to tell about them and so much history. How does somebody become the rebel that dies for the cause? So really going back in time and joining Cassian Andor on this journey through the formative years of the rebellion and how he became the man that challenged the empire and gave his life for the cause was just a real you know, opportunity for fantastic storytelling. Well, it's a bit of a blur. We were, you know, it is so exciting to bring a first teaser and a teaser is all it is and deliberately it might just you know get the juices flowing and hopefully you know makes it irresistible to come and join us on the 31st of August when we are going out to the world I can't wait oh I like the trailer. I think the trailer is good we have some really cool things to show I mean our show is really big really big really wide we have a lot of things to choose from it's very it's a fun process to make trailers for our show. We have to be very careful about what we give away. So we have a, yeah, so it was, it's cool to see. Confidence was high on the trailer today. We like it. It's those people, they've had our back for the last three years. The fact that they were gonna show up and be here today and they're gonna be here tomorrow. The fact, they are, they're our partners. They're, they're, our, whole, they're our whole card. And uh, uh, we, they're the real reason that you could do something like this. Well, I was so excited to come to Star Wars Celebration this year. I mean, I love the event been here for many many years but this time I was going to be sharing the uh, teaser for Willow and talking to the fans about the new project something that's very close to me something I've been working on for the last few years so yeah to come to celebration and share this was uh, really a pleasure you know it's very humbling when you go out and you get such a lovely reaction from thousands and thousands of people it's very humbling and quite emotional actually especially you know when it's about something unrelated to Star Wars you know, I know I'm a Star Wars actor, but also, you know, we were talking about Willow here. And I think it's lovely the way the two um, universes can, uh, can cross over. You know, anything Lucasfilm, the fans seem to love. So there was a lot of support in the room for what we were doing today. Well, you know, it's lovely to come back to the character of Willow. I first played the character 35 years ago, so, you know, I've aged a lot since then. I was 17 when we did the movie. Now I'm 52. So, yeah, I'm a lot older and wiser. And so is the character. And I think John Kasdan has written him in such a way that he's matured in a story sense. And um, we kind of really lean into that in the series, which I think is really refreshing and quite good fun. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.